Morning SK. I'm Elise. And I'm Alex. Um, what are you doing? Dancing, obviously. But why? It's National Dance Day, and I'll dance my way into the news. In Career News, there will be a Career Connections event on May 8th from 5.30 to 7 o'clock. At the event, you'll have the opportunity to meet with professionals in different fields. You'll get the chance to ask questions about careers that interest you. If this interests you, go to your grade Google Classroom and fill out the form. Community Schools is hosting a paint and gather night. Students, staff, and family are all welcomed. It costs $5 per person and is in the Commons on May 9th. The event is limited to 50 people, so make sure to sign up fast. Show off your pride for Washington with the color green on May 10th. Why? Because it's Washington Spirit Day. Students and staff can wear anything green or Washington related, such as the Seahawks, Mariners, Storm, and the Supersonics. Last weekend, we told you about the chicks hatching this week. Turns out, they made their appearance a little early. Hey SK, did you know that we have some chickens? Well, we have some hatched right now. You can check them out on our live stream on YouTube at SKHS Video Production. Look at how cute they are. Except for that one. Leave him alone, Audrey. He's just been born. He can do it. There have been a few connection issues, so if you can't get to play right away, know we're working on it. Looking for a sweet treat? This week, the student store has a new and exciting Froyo flavor, Blue Raspberry. They will also have classic vanilla. Marketing students, do you want to see the Seattle Mariners? Career day is May 15th, and it costs $28 to attend. So only 10 spots remaining in field trip forms need to be turned in by May 1st. See Ms. Fire for a permission slip. Seniors, prom is coming up quick, and guest forms are available at the ASB office. Tickets will go on sale on May 14th, but hurry, because only 500 spots are available. Seniors, today is your class picture, and you'll be released at 1.15, and head to the football field. The photograph will be taken by LifeTouch at 1.20, and will be a panoramic group picture, and will cost $18 if you'd like to purchase one. To go order, go to mylifetouch.com and enter picture day ID F O zero one three zero two four t zero. If you are interested in college, later today, Western Washington is stopping by, and tomorrow, Eastern is showing up. If you need help paying for those colleges, the Career Center has you covered with multiple scholarships due this week. South Kitsap Community Pride has a $2,000 scholarship to due tomorrow. Seroptimus International also has one due tomorrow and offers multiple awards to female students. On Wednesday, there are even more due. The Herbert and Gladys Thiessen offers a $2,500 scholarship to business students and a $2,500 scholarship to nursing students. Paramount Real Estate is offering one $1,500 scholarship and has a very simple application. Danford and Francis Moore awards $2,000 to a student and Invested, interested in engineering, water resources, and or biology. Lastly, Maynard Lundberg will provide one female and one male $4,000 scholarship each. Emphasis is placed on students that participate in athletics. These are just the, those due in the next two days. Check the Career Center for more. In sports, the girls water polo team faced North Shore on Saturday and came away with a 13-8 win. Baker scored three with Manga Haas and her guys each with two. They play a lot this week, so make sure to cheer them on. On Friday, the track and field team traveled to Jess Wheat Twilight Relays in Beverton, Oregon. The girls placed three out of 60 teams and broke three school records. DeGaramore broke the record in discus and won. She placed third in shot put and seven in javelin. Laws placed fourth in the 1500 meter and the girls distance medley. Relay team set a new school record and placed six. On the boys side, Benjamin broke the school record for a 3200 meter as a sophomore in a time of nine minutes and 11.99 seconds. Colic finished sixth in the long jump. Today in scheduled events, C-Team Baseball gets things swinging away against Puyallup. Boys soccer travels to Bellarmine as they near the end of their season. JV Fast Pitch takes on North, so North Kitsap here at home, and Water Polo takes on Emerald Ridge at home. They play at four. Tomorrow, Boys Golf faces Sumner over at Linden Golf and Country Club. Girls Water Polo is back at it against Anumclaw. Fast Pitch aims to strike out Olympia with Varsity at home and JV away. All of baseball is at bat tomorrow. C-Team aims to roll back at Gig Harbor Tides while playing at Marcus. JV and Varsity will take on Rogers. JV will stay at home while Varsity plays over at Heritage Field. Today, a, near, a Rear Admiral stopped by to check out our NJROTC program. Just in time to hear next year's top four, let's check them out. Good morning, South Kitsap. My name is Commander Kevin Bedell. I'm one of your JROTC instructors along with Senior Chief Vickers. I'd like to talk to you this morning about our change of command, which is uh, coming up here shortly. Uh, we have our top four that uh, our top four leadership people that are going to be exiting and then we've got our new top four coming in. But before I get there, I'm going to mention 
a little bit about the program. We are a citizenship and leadership program. We're grades nine through 12, there is no military obligation. We take a ton of field trips. How many of you have ever been on a fleet ballistic missile submarine or a nuclear aircraft carrier? Those are regular trips that we do with our cadets and they are absolutely uh, fascinating trips to, to be on. All right, we are entering sailing season. We have a 44 foot sailboat that we take out typically on uh, Fridays and now we've expanded the season so that we are going out on Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, we've got some sailing trips coming up. We've got an extensive sailing program over the summer as well. We'd love for you to get involved in that along with our other summer programs. All right, now to talk about our leadership. Okay, we, our battalion is typically around 120 to 140 cadets. We'd like to build it a little bit more than that. Our outgoing top four, those are the people that led us over this past school year. We had Wyatt Jean, okay, he was our command master chief. Jenna Peterson was our operations officer. Ariana Appleby was our executive officer. And Sydney Keenis was our commanding, cadet commanding officer. All four did a fantastic job, along with the people that worked alongside them, which were our company commanders and our platoon commanders, which formed the battalion. All right, and now for our incoming top four for the next school year. These cadets have worked hard over the past three years, and they have deservedly earned these positions of leading Wolf Battalion for the next school year. And they are in reverse order. So the command master chief will be Cadet Era Sitjar. Our operations officer will be Cadet Zoe Collins. Our executive officer will be Cadet Wyatt Jean. And our commanding officer will be Cadet Helena Rose Nuki. Please wish these cadets luck as they embark on this leadership journey next year. One, two, three, three. Yeah. All right, let's see what Way to go, Wolves. The class of 2025 is running an ASB fundraiser. They're selling class of 2024 shirts. T-shirts are $20, while long sleeve shirts are $22. Crew necks cost $25, and if you want a hoodie, it'll be $30. Pre-order now. On May 10th, they'll be available for purchase at, at the student store, at the ASB office, or the student web store. In club news, DECA will not be having a meeting this Thursday. The next meeting will be on the 9th of May. DECA is holding elections for officers next year. If you're interested, pick up a packet form from Ms. Fider. President applications are due May 9th, while vice president applications are due the 16th. The clubs mean today are international and Magic the Gathering. The clubs mean tomorrow will be 3D Zone, D&D, and World Builders. Still with the dancing? Well, what else am I supposed to do on National Dance Day? Before we end, let's take a last look at the chickens. Oh, they're so cute. Now let's end the show. I've been Elise. And I've been Alex. See you, South. <laughs>